question for us. <laughs> or we would like to ask you some questions. <laughs> One, two, three. Police and team, my dad is the police. <laughs> well done. Well done. So you got more entire year of content. <laughs> That's the problem with your interview an ex radio DJ. <laughs> an old friend of mine who's actually Mr. Fuadi Rahmat, uh, an old friend of mine because we started out a long time ago. He was with the TV12 back then and then somehow, somewhere, you know, I don't know, uh, it's just a little ring, the universe spoke and then uh, I, you know, messaged him and then we got together and that's said, Oh, and then he, he, of course, during our chat, he said, by the way, if you want to continue your studies, there's a program that, you know, MDIS is offering. I said, serious, really? Yeah. I mean, we've not met for a long time and we talk about this. And looking back, this was the only thing that I, I have not completed the journey yet. Uh, I may have the full spot, I'm not a Jedi yet. And then suddenly, this little girl who grew up right in front of my eyes, then one day, she actually came home and then said, I am now going to be a university student. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> din, 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 din. So it coincided nicely and I went back home and I said, if my daughter is graduating in that particular year, 2021, then shall the father be too. And then, of course, I use her and blackmail myself and her and say, <laughs> you don't give up, I don't give up. And then, ta-da, we graduated in 2021. Favorite ice cream? Hmm. I know. What? Swenson Swenson's ice cream. It's called like oh. a chocolate. What a chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I just like point to that little thing and then uh, I want that one. Is she your favorite kid? What? <laughs> it's okay, what? <laughs> uh, do you have a childhood hero? Childhood hero. You go first. I don't know what to say. Who's your childhood? I will say the correct answer is right. my parents. What? <laughs> Your father. Oh, come on. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. No, la, but <laughs> really, la. I mean, who else? Oh, no question. La. Because the, we, we keep the communication uh, open all the time. She can speak, speak to me about anything. We spoke with uh, family, brothers. Uh, so we have very, very open communication. We have every week, we have this thing called family meeting. Yeah. And uh, as much as possible, they have their own private, certain private information and all that. But then again, generally, our communication are quite solid. Okay. So I have a question for Jana. Mm. So obviously, you know that your dad is like a, <laughs> like a little machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> right, right? But you also mentioned before, I think like, um, at times, yes, it can be funny, but also it can be serious as well. So maybe you can share with us like one thing that, uh, that you learned from him that you can maybe Mm. Uh, one of the things I guess is when uh, last time in poly I had difficulty working with other people because I mean you meet so many different characters when you do group project and I think like the advice that my dad gave me is just like just continue throughout my life just not, it, not, it never stops so like it's really about like the different hats people wear some people are motivated by different things or like their working style is different and if I want to be like like a good manager or good leader of this like group project then like, I have to understand that I like, cannot get people to just work and on my at my way how I want to do it and like like that so like yeah once I start to be more empathetic to like how people work I mean they can look lazy but then just close one eye uh, because I know that they are not lazy lah like. it's just that they don't me and them like very different so yeah so it just continue until now and yeah I think that has Focus, focus, focus. Yeah, so we don't judge people easily because mm. we have to understand on the other side what will be. Mm. Uh, because by then, you know, if you understand that way, the formula works all the time. And uh, you can work with anybody, it doesn't matter which situation. Because we know when you get into this kind of mode and it's so difficult to work with anyone, the first thing you need to do is basically to treat nice, you know, look at everybody as a potential partner rather than a potential foe. Uh, so there's a song that we always sing, if it gets into too much of it, 
uh, and uh, you know sometimes people tend to think of it as office politics or couldn't <laughs> work with these people so we just sing this song which will inform sure. Sesame so Street. Sesame. Oh. One, two, three. <laughs> these are the people in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. These are the people in your neighborhood. The people that you meet each, each day. day. Yeah. Kind of joker in front of the screen, but I'm actually very serious behind the screen. Uh, so you have you have to be that way in a, in a certain sense that of course as a, as a father, uh, you can't be funny all the time. You need to show a little bit seriousness and also motivation. And sometimes uh, there are moments where you actually bond together, have fun, but there are also moments that you need to get to the top where everybody get down. You give me 20 round, round move. So uh, it kind of like pay off. Uh, but it's part and parcel of life. That's what life on earth is all about. Some days are stormy days, some days are breeze, nice beautiful breeze, and some days uh, just hot, and some days uh, like today. <laughs> and just MDIS. <laughs> you know what MDIS stands for? What? Magnificent, dynamic, intelligent Suhaimi. <laughs> so, so, no, no, no. It's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, please click here for more details on MDIS. <laughs>